Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 20 of the Delico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Before I start, um, someone told me about this this discussion about doing the code the wrong way or something. But uh, I don't know. The, the TLDR, though, uh, is that I actually have a video talking about this. Exactly. So definitely, if you want to check that out, um, check the comments. Uh, I'll put a link to it. Um, it's on my other channel. The um, uh, You could also search for Looking Up With Larry. It's the... When to move on from a problem. I need maybe I need to be better about. I, I'm trying to make the as anti clickbait as possible, so maybe the title doesn't make, make sense. But it's just basically, um, what's a good approach to attacking Nico problems or just you know competitive problems in general. Um, but yeah, that's how I think about it. All right, it's Friday. Oh, I'm so. Uh, uh, let's let's take a look. 1992. Find all groups of farmland. You're given a zero index M by N binary matrix where land is zero. This is like opposite of yesterday, right? And one is a farmland. Okay, maybe it's not water, so maybe that's fine. To keep the land organized, there are designated rectangular areas of hack areas of hack hectic hectares? I don't know. That consist of entirely farmland. These were gonna call groups. No two groups adjacent, meaning that farmland on in one group is not four directionally adjacent. Da, 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 da. Okay. Um, so we have to group the zeros or group the ones? It's, well, what are we doing? What is the output here? Okay, so we have, this is the input, and why is that the output? All right, maybe I should finish reading the file. Then can be can, da, 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 right? Find the coordinates of. Oh, 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 oh! So this is zero one zero one for the one, and then um, zero. Two. Okay, right. Zero two zero two. Oh, 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 no, no, no. These are each individual ones. Okay, I thought they were like uh, zipped together or something. So okay, so zero to zero zero to zero zero one one to two two. Okay, you have zero zero to one one. Okay, no group of farmlands. Hmm, this is kind of weird, isn't it? Also, just trying to make sure I understand. Um, I mean, we read this put. Yeah, because farmland. So we have to. Okay, yeah, yeah. So farmland is not four directionally adjacent to another farmland. So I don't think there's anything tricky about it. I thought there'll be a little bit more tricky with, like, okay, they're kind of intersecting, but maybe not. And you have to, like, kind of define it or something like that. But, uh, I mean, it seems pretty straightforward then, right? Maybe. Right, because I think the idea is that if you assume everything is going to be rectangular, then given a one one, or sorry, not a one one, given a, a farmland of one, you can just walk, you know, each, whichever which way, right? You keep going to the right and then go down, and because it has to be rectangular, as long as I'm understanding this one, then that's all you need to do. All right, let's uh. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I think I'm trying to think. So what I was thinking about just in a little bit is just um, whether I can do better than or like. Uh, but that's a silly optimization. So maybe I shouldn't worry about it, right? So maybe I, maybe for now I'll just actually I could even just use the original thingy, but I don't like to. So I'm just gonna do this, All right? Because I feel like if you use the original input it still counts as new space and because i mean if i pass in my my memory why are you changing my memory you know but uh yeah and then maybe answers you go to do right and then now it's just a symbol do 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 right and then if len of ij is you go to one is it number one or string one okay number one uh and not used of i and j then now you can say, um, you know, th the, this is the corner, right? So S, X, S, Y for be beginning or the start X and Y. Maybe I could make it more consistent. I, J is a little bit weird. Okay, fine. I mean, it's not weird. It's just that it's inconsistent. Okay, right? So then now we start. Oh, uh, okay. Give me a second. Right. And then now, like we said, we just go to the right. 
So while len of um, how, do, how do I want? To, I'm just thinking about the variable name, right? So maybe c x c y for current x current y is a little bit awkward, but that's fine, right? So while this is a one that um, <clears throat> well, maybe I could write like plus one is a no, no no. Well, I mean, it's fine. It's just that it's not consistent with our comment. I mean. Either direction first is fine, right? So this is less than C, and this is the case. Then we add one, and then now we go down, right? And then now we should be at the other corner. So then now we can just append SX, SY, CX, CY, right? Um, but just to make sure that we don't do, do it again, now we have to use the used so and we don't have to worry that much about using the used here we just don't want to kick off a new corner um the reason is just because what they said with the constraints which is that there, there are no adjacent things so um, shouldn't have to worry about it but um yeah okay right so then um uh, i'm like having a minor allergy thing <laughs> Half sneezing. Hang on. Uh. Oh, one more second. One more. Oh, jeez. Okay. Um, we don't want to use X and Y again, so that's why I'm like, okay. And we already use C, X, C, Y for current X, current Y. Maybe this, these could be uh, E, X, C, Y for ending. Hmm. Maybe that's a little bit better. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Let me know in the comments. Right, uh, and before I write this, I just want to make sure that um, it runs. Like, there's no typos or anything. There aren't any typos. I mean, I knew it was going to run because it, it, we we duplicate answers, which is why we needed to c continue writing. Right. So then now for C X in range from S X to Y e X plus one, we're going out bounds. For C Y in range of um, S Y E Y plus one. Then we just go use C X C Y is to go to true, and that should be good. That's what we needed to do, right? Let's uh, did I put in all the examples? I don't know. It's always hard to tell. All right, let's give it a submit. Right, I did this before. Um, this time faster. Don't know why. I'm curious what I did. Um, I mean the idea is the same. No, I did a foot fill. I don't know why I did it that way. Uh, I guess that makes sense. But yeah, um, maybe I just missed some reading or maybe it doesn't really matter. Either way, I think it's fine. Um, but just take advantage of it more. So what's the complexity here, right? You may say, oh, th this is R and C, and, but there's another R and C loop in here. And there's also while loops in here, right? Well, it turns out that um, this is linear time, linear space linear in the size of the input and the size of the input is of course r times c just to be clear because i feel like some people sometimes get confused about it especially i feel like the one time i forgot to say it uh people are like why, why is that linear but like i, I usually say like 90 percent of the time anyway but yeah and you know this part makes sense right it's r times c so why why does all these for loops and while loops don't matter well the reason is that for every interior uh, thing, this can only happen once, right? We can only flip this from false to true once for each interior cell. Um, so we never look at the same, same uh, like if you look at it in a grid, we never look go into the same grid more than once, uh, maybe twice if you want, two or three times, say, if you want to count these while loops as well, right? Um, because after you, because if this is true, Everything in this inside this will only happen once for the interior uh, farmland or whatever, and then um, and then yeah, and then this goes the second time, and this will be used, and it'll skip over it. So every every space, if you count it directly, will only be used three times or counted three times at most, right? Um, once for the original outside for loop, once here, and maybe once in the, during the while loop. And not even often, right? And if you really wanted to test this, of course, what I would recommend is just add a counter and then just check 
each of these things and count it and you could see it for yourself. But this is going to be linear time, linear space for used, um, and linear space for answer anyway. So, that, But though that part is a little bit output sensitive, if you want to call it that. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, everybody. Stay good. Stay healthy. It's good mental health. I'll see you all later. Take care. Bye-bye.